Welcome to Tech New Tips, where we dive into the latest and greatest technologies transforming our world. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Imagine being able to plant seedlings faster than ever before. This is where the semi-automated seedling transplant machine comes in. This worker may look busy, but what you're seeing is the future of agriculture, where one person can easily do the job of four. Here's how it works. After growing seedlings in a greenhouse, they're loaded into the seedling tray of this amazing machine. The worker sits on the back and places seedlings one by one into the rotating cups. There are more than 60 cups that continuously move in front of the worker, making it quick and efficient to load the seedlings. But the real magic happens beneath the cups. Each cup has a mechanical jaw below it. As the cup releases a seedling, the jaw grabs it and plants it perfectly into the soil. Two sets of these jaws work simultaneously, planting four rows of seedlings at a time. It's fast, accurate, and so efficient. For even larger fields, there's the 10-person seedling transplant machine. One person drives while the other nine continuously place seedlings into the rotating trays. As the seedlings drop into the soil, tilted rubber wheels press them firmly into place. This machine can plant nine rows of seedlings at once, making it perfect for large-scale farming. So, what do you think? Isn't this machine a game-changer for farming? From reducing manual labor to increasing efficiency, it's a perfect example of how technology is revolutionizing agriculture. Let us know in the comments what you think about this innovation. Did you know that carbon dioxide from the air can be captured and turned into stone? Yes, you heard that right. In today's video, we'll dive into an incredible technology that captures CO2 from the air and permanently stores it underground to help reduce global warming. In Iceland, there's a massive plant designed just for this purpose. Surrounding the plant are 72 specialized CO2 collectors. Each one is equipped with a front panel that opens and closes and a large fan on the back. These collectors work like giant air filters, not for smoke, but for carbon dioxide. When in operation, the fans pull in the surrounding air, which passes through filters designed to capture carbon dioxide. The rest of the filtered air is blown out through the fan, while the CO2 stays trapped inside the filters. Once the filters are full of CO2, the collectors close and the interior is heated to 100 degrees Celsius using steam. This process releases the concentrated carbon dioxide, which is then prepared for underground storage. Now here's where the magic happens. The CO2 is mixed with water, forming something like soda water, and sent 700 meters underground into basalt rock formations. Over the course of two years, the carbon dioxide mineralizes, turning into stone, Yes, actual stone. This Iceland plant captures around 500,000 tons of CO2 every year, equivalent to the emissions of 100,000 gasoline cars. Impressive, right? But there's a long way to go. The world emits an astonishing 36 billion tons of CO2 annually. So while this technology is a major breakthrough, we need a lot more plants like this to truly make an impact. Reducing carbon emissions is essential, but it's also critical to remove existing CO2 from the atmosphere. Imagine if we could build these plants worldwide. Could this be the solution to slowing down global warming? So, what do you think? Is this technology the future of carbon capture, or do we need to explore more solutions? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching Tech New Tips, and if you found this video informative, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it. Don't forget to subscribe for more cutting-edge tech updates.